Today, we are going to look at the procedure to align an ADB single channel pappy. You will need the following equipment to align the pappy. A 1 half inch socket wrench to loosen and tighten the enclosure. And a copy of the manual, which is 96A0379. Before we begin, open the single channel pappy and familiarize yourself with the control board. Alignment will require the use of the three digit LED display on the board, as well as the use of the glide azimuth and set angle buttons. A complete explanation of how to use the LED display and the different messages that can be displayed are shown in the manual. The first step in aligning the single channel pappy is to verify the glide slope angle desired for each light box. For a four box L880 pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard three degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to two degrees, 30 minutes. The next closest light unit would be set at two degrees, 50 minutes. The next box at three degrees, 10 minutes. And the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at three degrees, 30 minutes. For a two box L881 Pappy, the standard alignment for each light box is shown on the screen. For a standard 3 degree approach angle, the light box farthest from the runway would be set to 2 degrees, 45 minutes. And the light box closest to the runway edge would be set at 3 degrees, 15 minutes. Before aligning your pappy, verify these angles with the airport operator. Maintenance tip. Mark these angles on the inside top cover of the pappy, or another visible location for future reference. Because the LED display reads out in hundreds of a degree, and the required alignment angle is shown in degrees and minutes, you need to convert the degrees and minutes to degrees and hundredths of a degree. A complete table showing the conversion of minutes to hundredths of a degree can be found in the single channel pappy manual. For this video, the most common conversions are shown here. The four mounting bolts are loosened to allow the three adjustment bolts to be used to set the horizontal or azimuth angle and the vertical or glide slope angle. When the single channel pappy is first powered up, CLD will be displayed for up to 10 to 20 minutes depending on the ambient temperature. On the control board, press the glide azimuth push button until you see LEL on the display. Then the horizontal angle will be displayed. Next, turn the front alignment adjustment bolts until level is obtained. The display should read zero, plus or minus 0 0.07 of a degree. Next, you want to align the pappy box in the vertical or glide slope direction. On the control board, press the glide azimuth push button for one second until you see GLI on the display. The glide or vertical angle is now shown. Turn the alignment adjustment screws to set the required glide angle. For example, 3.5 degrees. Then tighten the four mounting bolts. The three adjustment bolts no longer have any effect on aiming and should be backed away from the box a quarter inch. Recheck the alignment to make sure nothing has changed. After you've confirmed the vertical alignment is correct, press and hold the set angle push button for five seconds until CAL is displayed. This stores the current glide angle in memory. The control board de-energizes all lamps if any pappy light unit is lowered between one fourth degree to one half degree or raised between one half degree to one degree. There is no need to calibrate the tilt angle. Time delay of 25 seconds prevents tilt switch activation due to vibration. Finally, repeat alignment procedure for all other light boxes associated with the PAPI system, using the correct vertical alignment for that box. For additional information, please refer to the manual for your PAPI system, which is available on the ADB website at adb-air.com. You may also contact ADB customer service directly by phone or email using the information shown on the screen. Thank you for your attention.